So it has been a really grey, miserable day here in Rugby. Um, we went to the Saxon Mill just outside Warwick and um, it was overcast there but um, there was more blue sky than there is here and there is a little bit of blue sky peeking through here now for the first time but it's, it's not brilliant. Um, we started our meal inside and then went outside for dessert. I had a rack of lamb with pesto, uh, butternut squash puree, chorizo, cavalanero, dauphinoise potatoes and a red wine jus which was gorgeous. Oh there was a roasted shallot as well and Mr Paper and Twine had crab, king prawn and chorizo linguine with chilli which looked lovely. And then um, we had dessert and Mr. Paper and Twine had crumble of the day, which was a five berry crumble, not a crimble crumble from family dinner. And I had polenta cake, uh, which had got black currants with it. And that was very nice. And an espresso martini. So I'm a little tiny bit, um, not tiddly, but you know, I've had a drink. So I'm surrounded by uh, cards and parcels to open and we'll have a little go. Um, this came from um, Jenny, the Ginger Ninja Crafter, in her entry to my Happy Mail, uh, to my challenge rather, and it said for the 4th of June, look at the lovely washi tape on that. So we'll open this first because it's top of the pile. Sorry for any rustling. Oh, and bless her. Oh, that is lovely. She knows that I like seaside and the sea theme. And she's done me a mermaid and it says make a splash. I'm guessing that's a Julia McNeil uh, design. I don't know. But look at the gorgeous background. The little fishy and the gorgeous colouring going on there. And then um, the bottom part of the card has been embossed on an angle, which is a really nice thing to do. Um, we've got little cut out bubbles. And this looks like a film strip on the outside. That is gorgeous. There's a little bit of wink of Stella on the mermaid. I don't know whether you can see that. Blue is behind me. Um, playing with my handbag strap. Oh, that's sweet. Dear Ashley, wishing you a very happy birthday. I hope there is cake, fizz and lots of treats. Crafty Hugs Jenny, Ginger Ninja Crafts. And again, she's got the most gorgeous handwriting. Look at that. There is going to be fizz later on. We've got a, a bottle of champagne in the fridge and we're going to have cake. I'll show you the cake that Ella has made me. So all these cards will be going up on the mantelpiece in my living room. So we'll just pop that there. Now I, I'm presuming that this is Happy Mail. It does look like my niece's handwriting and it also looks like my sister-in-law's handwriting but I'm guessing by the butterfly on the front. I'll just show my address. I'll blur that out. And the cat on the back that it is um, a birthday card. So let's have a look and see. From Happy Mail, I think, from a crafter. It looks handmade. Pop the envelope down there. Oh, that is lovely. It's a die cut tree with the leaves and the flowers, tiny little bird and the grass. And there's little tiny iridescent gems in the centre of the flowers. Oh, and it's from Andrea Turner. Oh, that's lovely, Andrea. I love how you do your stamp in pink. Dear Ashley, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Love from Andrea. Oh, and she's got the little tiny pound pippin in the corner there. Isn't that lovely? Oh, thank you, Andrea. That's so kind of you. Now I'm going to use this to cover up addresses. I know from the address on the label that this is from the lovely Dawn Sutton. Well, I think it is. Look at that. 
She's a cat lady like myself and like Jenny, actually. Look at that. And on the back, we've got all this lushness going on. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Um, and Dawn, it's so kind of you to think of me. It really is. It says happy birthday on there. Ooh. Oh, blue. Blue is playing with my altered embroidery hoop. Can you hear? She likes the bell. Look, we've got a lovely little package of things going on here. I don't know where to start. Oh. Oh, that is lovely. Look, the little cat asleep. And all the lovely little stickles and gems. Beautiful. I'm not quite sure uh, where that image is from, but it is gorgeous. And it's on this textured pearlescent card. You want to go out, don't you, cat? Hold on. <laughs> oh, to Ashley. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. I've enclosed some diamond dust for you, plus some Alice bits I thought you might like. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Lots of love, Dawn. Time spent with cats is never wasted. Look, and there's the footprints. That is gorgeous. Poor prints, I should say, shouldn't I? Oh, that is lovely. Thank you so much, Dawn. And we've got, I think this must be, must be the diamond dust in here. Let's have a little look. Oh, look at this. Have to find a little container to put it in. Can you see? Beautiful. Really lovely. I like that. I like that very much keep it in its little envelope for now but I think I've got a little container that that can go in I don't know where to put it we'll pop it there for now and then these are some Alice bits Blue's sitting by a stick now she's giving up on trying to get out of the room oh I can see a napkin in here as well I think oh look so not only was it in the cellophane wrapper but she's made like a little little wallet Oh, that's gorgeous. Miss Murphy, 54, Bromar Road, Denmark Park, Camberwell. And there's a little stamp on it and a postmark. And there's the Alice image after she's drunk the potion or eaten something. Isn't that lovely? And then in here, we've got a napkin my ears and whiskers and curiouser and curiouser blue sitting on the envelopes now that I've opened yes and it's just the same but aren't those flowers gorgeous that's lovely I shall find something to do with that that is for sure and I love this paper so it's like a double kind of tab bit going on. That's lovely, isn't it? And inside, oh, there's all kinds of things. Some little tickets there stuck in the bottom. Admit one. They're lovely. They might come in for an Alice album. There's another one. Hello Blue, I've got little bingo cards, these are lovely, there's four of those, oh gorgeous colours, they've got these little birds on and there's the rabbit, the white rabbit and Alice, aren't they gorgeous? And then there's some bigger, the same but bigger. And then we've got these postcards. I love the Mad Hatter. Oh, it's 
that's not that lovely now that is a gorgeous thank you so much dawn that's really kind of you thank you very much the cat's sitting at the door now wanting to get out put those there then i've got another card um we've got a little post box there lovely stamp which will not be wasted and then washi tape on the back and i think i have an idea who this is from oh <laughs> that's lovely all those different pens weapons of mass creation <laughs> That's lovely. This is by Bianca Green Design. She is an artist, dreamer and colour addict. She's um, German, Brazilian, American. She was born in Rio in 1982 and is currently living and working in Berlin, Germany. She is constantly inspired by the ever-changing and breathing skin of this rich and culturally diverse city. I'd like to go to Berlin. I've never been. My husband's been on business, but I've never been. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is lovely. Hello, Ashley. Watching your last video, I heard you mention your birthday. You may previously have mentioned the date, but I can't remember. Anyhow, I am sending sincere birthday wishes to you whenever the day is. Thanks so much for your fabulous videos. I very much enjoy them and you are such a lovely person. I'm not really, I'm not. <laughs> and so talented, I'm not, I'm really not. <laughs> much love, Kath. That's a lovely Kath S who has taken up crafting uh, since we've met on YouTube. P.S. The card isn't quite right as you use far more than writing implements, but I just love the idea and hope you do too. Yes, I do. And um, we've got some washi tape there, but this washi tape here, I am absolutely loving. Um, oh, I've just had a, I've just had a, a message off one of my friends. Uh, she she saw my video, the trash to treasure with the body shop um, tin, and um, this young lady uh, I used to work with, but um, she gave up teaching full time. And became a body shop consultant and I bought the stuff off her so yeah so just had a message off her I'll have to check she's saying I hope I'm, hope I'm having a nice birthday look at that I love that washi tape you must tell me where you get this washi tape from because it is absolutely stunning I really really love that and please don't send me any because I'm not asking for you to send me any but I just want to know where you've got it from so I can get some uh, that is gorgeous thank you so much Kath that's another lovely card to go on my mantelpiece and now um, I've got another package and um, this I believe let me just check I'm thinking by the address, this is from the lovely Roz, Crafty Mama Paper Crafts. She's got a challenge going on at the moment. I have already done a VR for her. I'll link her channel down below. I'll link Dawn's as well. Um, but go and check her out. But look at the lovely stickers on there. And she's got my initials on the, on the front. And then uh, we've got that lovely sticker on the back and I'm battling with the sun sorry and I'm not looking very flatter flattering today um I have got makeup on for you but um a glass of wine and it goes to my face do you know what I mean let's get in here let me find scissors these might be a bit big hold on I'll just get my other scissors that are less weapon like uh, uh. I've sent a load of happy mail out today four different pieces of happy mail and i have filmed it i don't know when i'm going to put it up but um it's happy mail that i've very much enjoyed making and i hope that the recipients enjoy one of them was my atc swap for uh wally steph's atc swap and of course um teresa the car boot crafter has just 
um, recently launched her second round Robin ATC swap. So I need to get cracking on with that. Uh, but we have a lovely tissue, pink tissue paper here. We'll put that down because that would definitely be recycled. We've got a little card with my name on it. So it must be for me. <laughs> I've had a WhatsApp message off my son and I've had a phone call with my daughter. Um, she's coming home at the weekend because um, we're sadly going to a, a memorial party. It's not a, a service, it's not a formal affair, but we're going to a memorial party on Sunday um, for a family member and uh, Molly wanted to come to that so she's coming home late tomorrow night very late tomorrow night um, after she's finished work um, yeah so she was bemoaning the fact that she's only got eight hours between shifts she's doing a shift today and then a shift tomorrow um, and she's got eight hours between the two shifts so she's got to sleep and get ready and travel in that time so she wasn't happy <laughs> Mm. I am drinking just the bog standard 3.99 Chardonnay from Aldi, which I really like. It's not Mr. Paper and Twine's favourite wine, uh, but I, for glugging, I like it. Now we've got in and we've got this gorgeous little card. It looks like it could be hunky dory toppers. Oh, it's front and back. That's lovely. So on that side, let's do this side first. Can you see that? It says, have a glamorous birthday. I can't say I'm very glamorous today. Although I have got some jewellery on. Do you like my bracelet? It's an old silver plated fork that's been bent into a bangle. I got it on Covent Garden Market years ago. And uh, some earrings, but that's all. So yeah, a little bit glamorous maybe. And it says especially for you that side and it's a topper card oh oh i like that that's very nice got all these little embellishments stuck on i wish i could wear shoes like that i can't anymore i saw woolly steph yesterday we went for a, a, a walk although it wasn't a very long walk we ended up just going to cafe nero and having coffee and cake which she very kindly bought for me as a birthday treat and we sat for hours um it's funny we got back to my house and she's got a little bit further to walk to get to her house and we both said oh, i've got no idea what time it is and i still i think it's about one o'clock and i got in and looked at my watch and it was 25 to 3. <laughs> we'd gone out at 11 so we had a good old chin wag um but that's lovely. Ah, uh, Ashley, have a lovely birthday. Lots of love, Roz. Thank you so much. That's lovely. That's going to go in the little pile of cards. And we've got this little wallet with this gorgeous little tassel here. That's the back of the wallet. And the front with a cat. Not only is it a cat, it's kind of like a grey cat, like blue, who is lying on the floor, extended looking at me adoringly, licking her paws, belly out, wanting to be tickled. Oh, I can see some goodness, goodness in here. Oh, bless her. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, Ross, thank you so much. Now, there's a, a bag of Yorkshire tea. Now, I don't drink Yorkshire tea, I drink Earl Grey, but my daughter, since she's lived in Leeds, has introduced us to Yorkshire tea and my husband drinks it, so it will not go to waste. So thank you very much for that. And then we've got all these things that I can colour in. I don't know whether they're digital stamps or whether Roz has actually stamped them herself, but that elephant is cute. We call um, Ella, Ella Bella, and uh, for her, anything to do with elephants is, is what, we, what we do. So that'll come in for her. And then there's this, which is gorgeous. Real um, beautiful collage stamp with the manuscript on there and flowers and butterflies and little postmarks and clocks and 
the flowers are tulips which is one of my favorite flowers I don't know whether Ross has heard me say that but that is lovely I'm just seeing I'm at 20 minutes I'm really sorry about that and then another one which is gorgeous and then talking of gorgeous we've got gorgeous girl who I do like and another gorgeous oh another gorgeous girl with the cat on her lap and a flower and a now a hedgehog and um some gnomes and a squirrel and a mushroom that's lovely we'll pop those in there this is a lovely little pocket and we've got a little cup of tea die cut on now and raised up pop those in so we don't lose them and then in the other side I've got some little die cut cats they are just so cute they are so adorable there's another one peeking out there love those really love those and then we've got some napkins oh oh and an Easter bunny lolly mm. nom nom pop that out of the way but we've got these gorgeous napkins and of course I've just got into the napkin art and the I'm just looking at this the images on this would be perfect for ACTs look at that look at that that's gorgeous loving it and a little watering can with tulips that is really beautiful and then we've got one with lavender thank you so much Roz and we've got this for the hedgehogs those are adorable oh the little baby hedgehog with a the fork there and the little ones here pulling the uh, apple on the fork or it might be a plum or a green gauge oh those are absolutely adorable love those and then we've got this which is gorgeous this will come in for woolly steph's art journal because we've got nature and there's all kinds of botanicals on there so i might be able to do something with those that is beautiful thank you so much Ros. that is gorgeous and again we've got some die cuts on the inside of the folder here we've got a, a, a butterfly and a little teacup there so that is lovely i'll just pop that down there out of the way um gosh we've got this one <laughs> i know who this is from from the uh, message on the bottom do not open till your birthday ye old bag this is from Anne Bowman um, Crafty Batty who uh, is a legend she really is and I'm just going to try and cut into this as best I can it's not easy bear with bear with the cat is very much bemused trying to get into it so I don't damage the jiffy bag but uh, to be honest with you I've got that many jiffy bags oh Ooh. okay that's that there is a butterfly on the front but I'm not going to show you because I've already shown my address and I need to get to grips with blurring that out but I've got an envelope here with my name on it so it must be for me and a smiley face on the back it's one of those foam sticky ones the cat's having a good old smell because I think Anne's got cats oh this is interesting wow lots of work in this oh i think it's an easel card is it an easel card yes it is it's an easel card so i'll show you like that first gorgeous shades of lavender and purple 
with gems and flowers and an A for Ashley and the butterflies. I think this might be hunky-dory, I'm not sure. And oh, that's nice, it's a little 3D butterfly. And yeah, it's like a, an easel card. You can have it on that little stopper there, which says on your special day, and you've got that little pink flower there, or you could have it on that, that one there, although it, it doesn't want to stop there actually. So yeah, that's the stopper there. And you've got this little glittery washi tape. And it says, Ashley, happy birthday, love, Anne. Oh, Anne, that is so kind of you to think of me. Thank you so much. There's all these little flowers here and the detail inside this one. Really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Thank you, Anne. That's going on the pile to go on the um, mantelpiece. And then we've got a little parcel here, which is wrapped up and has got... Um, an envelope again with my name on it so it must be for me <laughs> and it's got a little tiny note inside and it says this is not a spare case for your new glasses <laughs> it's nice paper look and the uh, the envelopes lovely business reply card can you see that right that will just come off there like that and how to get into this for the best I wonder mm. snip carefully there oh, I don't know what's in here it's very well wrapped up though Oh, mm. put that down there. We've got a nice little pile of things down here. String. Just snip the string off. I don't want to snip it. Let's just slide it down. And then we've got these little button loops here ribbon loops rather with flat back pearls on and a button there <laughs> oh bless her <laughs> she's put ye old bag <laughs> And there's this little medallion hanging from the bottom, which is actually really lovely. It's a little bird. And that'll be going to uh, adorn something, that's for sure. <laughs> that is lovely. Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. If you, again, I'll link um, Crafty Batty down below. If you don't know her, you must go and check her out. She is so funny. I just absolutely adore her mm. now this next parcel and I can see I'm nearly at half an hour don't worry after this one there's only two more um, it says birthday mail oh this is from Julie Pearson so we will um, get into here Julie last time uh, when she entered my challenge i said i didn't think that she'd uh, created content but she's recently started to so again i will link her down below and she did me a lovely vr bless her um so go and check julie out let's see what we've got in here oh got another jiffy bag to add to my collection got this lovely neon ribbon look at that but we'll look at the card first oh look because it's rude not to look at the card isn't it do you know i just said there were two more to look at there's not this three because um, i've got a big bag down beside me as well which i'll save till last this is uh 
interesting oh i love what she's done it looks like she's used gold and silver stars and stuck them down with sellotape that's a good idea oh bless her oh look i think there's confetti inside yes it's happy birthday confetti inside <laughs> but it's a cat that looks a bit like blue although blue's eyes aren't that color oh bless <laughs> and it says to ashley happy birthday hope you have a great day this card reminded me of blue from julie pearson oh that is beautiful thank you so much <laughs> that's lovely blue's getting fed up now because it must be close to her tea time she's just having a little groom we'll, we'll be all right for 10 minutes i think Ooh. right well i can see straight away there's a pen which always comes in handy i've never got a pen when i need one and the ribbon will be going into um stash that's a gorgeous color isn't it lovely we'll pop that down there i've got a lot of clearing up to do after i get off here and then oh blue's just started biting the jiffy bags oh this is useful <laughs> i've got some stickers they'll be useful for all kinds of things so the gold stickers with all kinds of messages. They can go on envelopes for Happy Mail. They can go on ATCs. They can go on cards. Lovely. Thank you very, very much. Oh, there's a hologram there. Can't quite see what it says. Pop that. Pop that on the pile of mail there and um, I might try and use these somehow so we'll put those to one side that's that now we've got two parcels here this is a very light one and um, it comes from somebody in Lincolnshire but I don't don't recognize the address so we'll see might not be birthday mail at all we'll soon see it might be something very boring but let's get in here and have a look it's a nice big jiffy bag if nothing else oh there's a card with my name on it so it must be for me and there's a little parcel wow look at that gorgeous handwriting and we've got that washi tape on the back let's have a look and see who it's from oh it's a beautiful card i wonder if this is into my challenge could be could be that is a lovely envelope i'm keeping that to repurpose for something nice and thick oh no it is a birthday card oh i think this is from Anne lane yes to ashley happy birthday hope your day is as amazing as you are oh, love Anne. p.s lots of love for blue from salt and chili who are Anne's cats isn't that lovely blue's getting very uh, fractious now that is beautiful Anne. so that looks like it could be a digi stamp that she's colored but I'm not sure how she's coloured it. But it is very beautiful. Look at that. Love it. Really lovely. Meow. Add that to the pile. It is so exciting. More bubble wrap to add to the collection of bubble wrap. I wonder what this is here more heart washi tape and tissue paper oh look it's a beaded rosebud 
Did you make that, Anne? Please comment down below. That is beautiful. Look at the work on the leaves. Absolutely gorgeous. That's going to go in my little um, altered jar from Andrea that's got my name on it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's got my name on it that should have a tea light in it, but I've used the tea light. So uh, while I'm waiting to put another tea light in, that's going to go in there so I can see it. Thank you. That is so thoughtful. It's very heavy. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Then this is the last thing that has come through the post. And this is from an address in London. And it says birthday mail. So I don't think it's an entry. It's bloody big. Oh my word. Oh my word. I have been thoroughly spoiled here. Let's see if there's a card. There, look, there's a card with my name on it. So it must be for me. It's a bulky card. Put that down there. Oh, that is beautiful. Gorgeous colours. Look at that. Really lovely. Oh, it's for Mel at Mellis Makes. Hi, Ashley. Happy birthday. Just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday and many happy returns. I've included a few crafty goodies for you, so I hope that you'll find them useful for your stash or pass them on if you so wish. I hope you have a fantabulous day and please do have a couple of glasses on me. I've already had a couple, love. Can you tell? Um, love and hugs, Mel, aka Mellis Makes. Oh bless. She did say she was going to enter my challenge as well. So that could be that could be nice. Mm. Beautiful card. Lovely. Thank you so much. Gorgeous colours. We've got all this goodness here. So I'm building up a collection of nouveau drops. And I've got this lovely jewel drops, which is in the colour. Uh, does it say? I can't see. Pale periwinkle. It's interesting, it does say on here to let dry for 48 hours. And I did say in a recent video that you really should, because uh, people tend to put them in envelopes too soon. They feel dry to the touch and hard, but they're not. And then um, they get upset when they're flattened. But that is a gorgeous colour and it dries translucent. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you. That'll certainly be used. And then we've got this lovely pom-pom trim that coordinates with it. Beautiful. Oh, I could have done with this with some happy mail I've just sent out. And then, oh, this is from Paper Chase, gift ribbon. Got all those kind of crochet effect ribbons in those gorgeous colours there. They will definitely come in handy for pocket letters. Um, I've got one to do for a challenge in America and Andrea has asked me if I'll do a pocket letter swap with her. So they will definitely come in handy for that. And then I've got this lovely Damask Delights by Paper Boutique. Looks like it's eight by eight paper. Not that I need any paper. This is so kind of you, Mel. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. You can't see. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I can't show you, but it is gorgeous. There's sentiments, there's papers. Oh, look at that looks like there's two or three of each that is gorgeous and I like that they're single-sided because at the moment look at that at the moment I'm into making my envelopes so that they're white on the outside and you see the pattern on the inside little spotty pinky one actually that's going to be perfect for my mum's 
birthday card I've got to make tomorrow afternoon it is a it is her birthday tomorrow but I'm not seeing it till Sunday and I know what kind of card I want to make um, and I need some fairly plain patterned paper to go with it we've got four lots of sentiments which is gorgeous look at that oh Mel that is so kind of you thank you so much and again I will link Mel's channel down below if I'm not three sheets to the wind by the time I upload this look at that gorgeous toppers for cards there perfect absolutely perfect yeah it looks like you get four of each lovely loving it now we have got one more thing to open today um i can't get that back in there um i saw the lovely woolly steph yesterday she texted me on wednesday and said i've got something for your birthday it's too big to put through your letterbox do you fancy going on a walk so uh, I said yeah I can't today but what about tomorrow so we met up yesterday and put the world to rights it was lovely really really lovely mm. and I doubt you're going to see all of this but this bag weighs a ton and it is a big bag but look at that and I said oh it's beautiful really really beautifully decorated so that is a little panel that i could frame i could cut out and frame or i could repurpose to something else look how the sun's come out now i'm gonna have to just close the blind hold on a minute that's a little bit better um still don't look very flattering do i Oof, yeah but there is one so heavy two three and a card oh that is so lovely look at that and look you still can't see very well even though I've closed the blind isn't that beautiful and it's got woolly stuff's sticker on the back love that I haven't thought of layering up like that and I don't know how she's done that edging I don't think it's gilding wax maybe it is maybe Steph can let me know um, but that is a beautiful envelope and will be saved to keep special little things in it looks like it's a homemade envelope as well oh and that is gorgeous and it is from the Stamparia Imagine collection and I can see all sorts of gorgeousness, gorgeousness going on so we've got one of Steph's butterflies there we've got a wax seal with um, a dragonfly on and we've got the beautiful facial focal point from uh, stamp area imagine paper that's got some manuscript at the bottom and um, it's kind of like a little shadow card and on the back in Steph's beautiful handwriting we've got to Ashley wishing you the happiest of happy birthdays may the sun shine brightly well it hasn't done until now what time are we five to six I've been on ages um, and your day be filled with fun and laughter crafty hugs and lots of love Steph and look at her gorgeous handwriting there that's beautiful lovely thank you very much and I've still got all my cards from family to open and we're not celebrating my birthday until next weekend with the kids because we're going to do a joint birthday for my mum's birthday and Harry's 21st now let's start with the heavy ones so this has got a gorgeous little tag on for it looks again from the imagination paper and it says if you don't want to use me please pass me on feels like a book and it's beautifully wrapped up And there 
there's the little tag, which I can use as a topper on something. Keeping all these little bits. And the brown paper is very useful to keep as well. children's picture dictionary i will definitely be using this there's all kinds of things in here that oh my word i've just opened it randomly look that is definitely going to be used that is perfect thank you so much i've just opened it at random again brilliant thank you so much Steph look at the little ducks there I can use that on my son's girlfriend's birthday card the ducks because she loves ducks brilliant <laughs> Spot is such a clever dog he is a very clever dog he does such clever tricks Jack took such pains to teach him <laughs> brilliant absolutely love it 800 definitions 500 illustrations perfect and then this feels like a book as well if you don't want to use me please pass me on and it's again a gorgeous um tag which i think is from the stamp area imagine collection we're keeping those little bits of burlap that's gorgeous isn't it that will be being repurposed definitely oh you've stuck to my paper hold on It's a big old book. Can't get in. I can't get in and the sun's come out. Oh! Ah, oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's a French English dictionary and an English French dictionary and it really is vintage does it say French French English English French although that looked German no that's French absolutely brilliant I am so beyond grateful look at that that would definitely definitely be being used and I could have done with it for some happy mail that went out today. But it will come in handy for the next bit of happy mail I'm making. Thank you so much, Steph. And then she's made me a little something, she said, that she's very light in comparison. And wrapped up in this gorgeous green tissue paper. With some chevron washi tape. Oh, it's a lovely little box wrapped up in this gorgeous ribbon with a little tag. Again, I think this is all Stamparia imagination paper. I prefer to see with closed eyes. Let's undo this and then we can look at the lushness that is the box. I love boxes. Oh, look, and she's even gone to the trouble of putting a metal eyelet through the um, label. I can't undo it and I don't want to cut it. What's happened there? Hold on. There we go, that's got it. Beautiful ribbon it's a gorgeous little box with manuscript and all kinds of things 
art must be an expression of love or it is nothing I don't know if you can see that with the sunlight T for Thompson that might just be random but there we've got a treble clef on the bottom <clears throat> and some music notes which is lovely oh oh lovely oh so the whole thing collapses and we've got this accordion and it oh it's there's a little bit of elastic there and it slides out that is so delicate so that slides out the box collapses can you see all oh, the gorgeous papers there i'm sorry the light is really bright now and it looks like there's um i think it's that stamparia paper again that is really beautiful and we've got this lovely little accordion um book but what i'm going to do i'm going to do a separate little video on this because i'm already really really long and i want to show you my birthday cake ella has made me and the light isn't very good it's too bright so i will come back and show you this as a separate video i have got a um challenge entry today as well which i haven't opened yet it is from fraps and scraps so thank you very much to them i will be opening and filming that in the next couple of days and i will share woolly steph's handmade creation in more detail because i think it deserves it but thank you so much everybody let's just have a little quick look at the cake so I've still got some cards to open I think these are all from family members and um, we got back from our late lunch and Ella had made me a lemon drizzle cake this platter that it's on was made by Rose who um, we are celebrating on Sunday she was my dad's ex-wife and um, she died at the age of 88 she'd been very poorly for a long time and um, have very fond memories of her she was a very talented potter and this is one of her platters that she made she made her own glazes as well and she fired everything in um, a kiln in the garden um, a wood-fired kiln that her husband built for her and um, so we shall tuck into some lemon drizzle cake with a glass of bollinger or some champagne and um, Mr. Paper and Twine bought me a bottle of Bollinger, some flowers. Um, we'll see how long they live. They are a potted plant. <laughs> I'm not very good with potted plants. And he isn't one to um, buy cards, but um, he did buy me a card, bless him. And it says, thank you for being still alive or something to those uh, to that effect, yes. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much everybody for watching. There's a little shot of blue having a little bit of water. Um, I know it's been a very long video. I hope you've had a lovely day wherever you are. And thank you so much to all of you lovely people who have sent me happy mail. I am absolutely overwhelmed. Thank you so much. I'll be back soon. Bye now.